Hello, friend. Hello, friend. That's lame. Maybe I should give you a name. But that's a slippery slope. You're only in my head. We have to remember that. Shit. This actually happened. I'm talking to an imaginary person. What I'm about to tell you is top secret. A conspiracy bigger than all of us. There's a powerful group of people out there that are secretly running the world. I'm talking about the guys no one knows about, the guys that are invisible. The top 1% of the top 1%, the guys that play God without permission. And now I think they're following me. This is about last night. I should have gone to Angela's birthday party. Instead, I went to... Now I'm being followed. don't like someone with my powers in three short minutes I destroyed a man's business life existence I deleted him but I'm only a vigilante hacker by night by day just a regular cybersecurity engineer employee number ER2806529 that's my childhood friend Angela she can be a bit high strung sometimes but trust me she's one of the good ones she was right. I like most of the people, but our business, a cybersecurity firm that protects corporations, I can't think of anything I hate more. I didn't exactly come to Krista. I was forced here, but I do like her. Hacking her was simple. Her password, Dylan2791. Favorite artist in the year in which she was born backwards. Though she's a psychologist, she's really bad at reading people, but I'm good at reading people. My secret, I look for the worst in them. I know she went through a divorce four years ago. I know she was devastated by it and has been dating losers on eHarmony ever since. Her most recent foray, Michael Hansen. I searched for him online, but nothing came up. No LinkedIn, no Facebook, nothing. Something about him bugs me. Scratching that part of my mind again. But I'll hack him soon enough. I always do. Am I crazy not to like this guy? Among some of his Facebook likes are George W. Bush's Decision Points, Transformers 2, Revenge of the Fallen, and the music of Josh Groban. Must I really justify myself any further? His was the easiest to hack. Password was 1234567. I witnessed his first I Love You with Angela over GChat. Then I witnessed the first of many infidelities with Stella B. I've thought about telling Angela, but she has shitty taste in men, and I'm not quite ready to see what comes after this just yet. You like music, I like music, Maroon 5. Plus, I can manage Ollie easier than the others, for now anyway. Truth is, I shouldn't hate Ollie, he's not that bad a guy. He's too dumb to be bad. In fact, when I think about the really bad people... E Corp, the largest conglomerate in the world. They're so big, they're literally everywhere. A perfect monster of modern society. The E might as well stand for evil. In fact, after a thorough intensive self-reprogramming, that's all my mind hears, sees, or reads when they pop up in my world. Evil Corp. Krista would have a shit fit if she knew I did that. But that's what they are. A conglomerate of evil. And now I have to help them. There he is, Terry Colby, the CTO. Even though he's the head technology guy at one of the biggest companies in the world, he owns a BlackBerry. It also looks like he doesn't see a terminal very often. He's not a techie, he's a moron. An arrogant moron. The worst kind. Sometimes I dream of saving the world. saving everyone from the invisible hand, one that brands us with an employee badge, the one that forces us to work for them, the one that controls us every day without us knowing it. But I can't stop it. I'm not that special. I'm just anonymous. I'm just alone. If it weren't for QWERTY, I'd be completely empty.
I hate when I can't hold in my loneliness. This crying's been happening too often every other week now. What do normal people do when they get this sad? They reach out to friends or family, I think. That's not an option. I do morphine. The key to doing morphine without turning into a junkie is to limit yourself to 30 milligrams a day. Anything more just builds up your tolerance. I check every pill I get for purity. I have eight milligrams suboxone for maintenance in case I go through withdrawals. Shit, I'm out again. Instagram check-in for Krista, Pierre Lodi. Okay, Michael Hansen, time to find out who you really are. They must have left a mark or something. Every hacker loves attention. They don't just do DDoS attacks for no reason. This is it, F Society. Is that supposed to be a joke? This was way too easy. They didn't hide it well at all. This note is from me. They're telling me to leave it here. But why? It doesn't matter. Time to shut them down. Why can't I delete it? I don't want to delete it. I want it to stay. What's wrong with me? I'll reconfigure the access to the root directory so only I can use it. No one will know. Eagle Corp servers should be back up soon enough. I'll take a look at the DAP file. I'll ask my IRC contacts about our society when I get home. I've never seen their name on the boards though. They gotta be new, but they're good. I'm crazy. I have to be crazy because that didn't just happen, right? This is a delusion. Is this a delusion? Shit, I'm a schizo. Have I really lost it this time? No, no, last night happened, it was real. Angela called me, I was at all safe. Evil Corp servers were compromised. Those are facts, not delusions. I know, I know, I know, I realize I'm saying all of this to an imaginary person. But I created you. I didn't create this. No mention of Mr. Robot anywhere. No mention of Beth Society. Not on any of the hacker boards, not on IRC, forums, blogs. No one's heard of them. Property was owned by Fun Society Amusement LLC for 13 years. Owner was shot and killed a year and a half ago. No owner since. And the ownership history before that sparse to non-existent. This guy's good. Very good. doesn't matter. The Arcade Network's IP is in the DAP file. That'll be enough to turn them in. What's your ask, Mr. Robot? 19 days. No news, no arrests, no revolution. No FBI, Colby, Evil Corp. Mr. Robot. No F Society. I need to take my mind off things. With those details plus a dictionary brute force attack, it'll take my program maybe two minutes to crack his password. What I wouldn't give to be normal. To 
I live in that bubble. The reality of the naive. That's how I justify this. To keep their optimism intact. To protect them. He's too old to have a complicated password. It had to have been a combination of these things. I'm missing something, I'm missing something, I'm missing something. Michael Hansen isn't his real name. That 15 part I made up, but he did have a proclivity for young escorts that helped a lot. Exactly. Krista needs to avoid dickheads like you in the future. Her radar needs fixing. I never want to be right about my hacks, but people always find a way to disappoint. Michael Hansen now gets filed away among the others, forever buried in my digital cemetery. The look of disillusionment, he told her. She cried all night. Now comes the sadness. I don't like seeing her sad. Please tell me you're seeing this too. Hey man. What, you think I forgot about you? Trust me, I need you now more than ever. We gotta get to work. Hacking Tyrell well like you'd think he'd be tricky, but it wasn't. Evil Corp's corporate mail servers, they haven't patched anything since Shellshock. He doesn't even use two-step verification, and his password was just his wife's maiden name in Sweden's Independent State 66. One six away from the obvious, but still, this is bad noob practice. These emails. His life, it's nice, happy, perfect. This doesn't make sense. Did he know I was gonna hack him? Did he let me? I'm gonna need to wipe everything. I know, I know. Taking more than I should. I'm breaking my rule, but come on. It's an off week. Terry Colby's arrest is on everyone's mind. Screen might as well be the same thing nowadays. How do I go back to work after this? How can I focus on anything? And when's Mr. Robot gonna contact me again? What's he waiting for? Did I just destroy a man's life for no reason? This was never part of the plan. Data dumps, releasing Terry Colby, none of this makes sense. Need to cut off all ties with F Society. Need to disconnect. We need to call in sick and lie low for a what the hell am I doing? This chick is out of her mind batshit crazy. I gotta go back, tell Gideon everything. He'll understand, right? He'll know what to do. But what if Tyrell finds out? What will he do? Shit. There's basically no scenario in which I'm not getting killed or going to jail. For all we know, I could be walking into a trap right now. We could be dead the second I walk through that door. This was a mistake. I gotta turn them in. Should I turn them in? Will I get into trouble? Shit, she's right. I'm culpable now. No, we're culpable. You're in this with me. So start thinking of solutions now. Fernando Barra, Shayla supplier, one of the worst human beings I've ever hacked. His password? Eat a dick 6969. Aside from the massive amounts of money he spends on porn and webcams, he does all his drug transactions through emails, IMs, Twitter. The fact that the cops haven't caught him yet is beyond me. If they had half a brain cell, they'd be able to crack his gang's simplistic code, if it can even be called that. After only a couple of hours of timing his tweets with related news articles, I figured out that Biscuit and Clickety clearly reference guns, food, seashells, or gas for bullets, and the ultimate, rock to sleep early. I haven't made the direct connection to a hit yet, but the math of guns plus bullets usually adds up to one thing. I've thought about turning him in, but he's Shayla's only supplier. I take him down, I lose my drugs, and with everything going on right now, I can't have that. The lockpick, every hacker's favorite sport. The perfect system to crack, mostly because unlike virtual systems, when you break it, you can feel it, you can see it, you can hear it. There it is again, the invisible hand at work, controlling us, even if it pushes us past our threshold of pain. 
choices. Maybe Mr. Robot's right. That's what this is all about. The yeses and noes of life. But do we decide them, or do they decide us? Fernando Vera. I get rid of him, I get rid of my drug dealer supplier. I get rid of the morphine. And the pain I've been holding in comes rushing out. Sure, I can try to find another dealer, but like Vera said, no one on the streets deals Suboxone. I could go back to digitally counterfeiting scripts, but farmers spend a lot of dough protecting their wares. Most places only take paper scripts. Continuously getting legit refills isn't realistic, and neither is being a junkie. So I quit cold turkey or let bear exist. I know what you're thinking. The answer's too obvious. Vera may have been groping Shayla before, but he's graduated to rape. Just like Shayla, he's left me no choice. He can't be allowed to exist anymore. Most coders think debugging software is about fixing a mistake, but that's bullshit. Debugging is actually all about finding the bug, about understanding why the bug was there to begin with, about knowing that its existence was no accident. It came to you to deliver a message, like an unconscious bubble floating to the surface, popping with a revelation you've secretly known all along. I don't know why I'm saying all of this, Maybe it's because I'm pumped up on whatever smack legal drug dealers like Eli Lilly make money off nowadays. But usually it's because there's a sense it's coming. A bug buzzing its way towards me to gum up the works until it forces me to make a call. Kill me or embrace me. Or maybe I'm just freaking out because I never thought I'd wake up to find these two women staring back at me. Like I said, the most difficult thing about debugging isn't fixing the bug. It's all about finding the bug. For Evil Corp, Mr. Robot found their bug in me. I was the mistake that led to all of this. A bug is never just a mistake. It represents something bigger. An error of thinking. Sir! That makes you who you are. Sir! This is the world we live in. People relying on each other's mistakes to manipulate one another, use one another, even relate to one another. The warm, messy circle of humanity. Mr. Robot may have found Evil Corpse Bug, but he didn't find mine. That's the only way to protect myself. Never show them my source code. Close myself off. Create my cold, perfect maze where no one can ever find me. Did you hear that? I can't believe it. Is it really happening? F society's finally over. The recent glitch and the otherwise neat reality I created over the years. I'll never slip up like that again. I'm gonna be more normal now. Maybe Shayla could even be my girlfriend. I'll go see those stupid marble movies with her. I'll join a gym. I'll heart things on Instagram. I'll drink vanilla lattes. I'm gonna lead a bug-free life from now on. Anything to protect my perfect maze. Shayla's bug was always elusive to me. Maybe this was it. Wanting normalcy but stuck in the outer fringes. Not knowing how to participate. Just like me. Bugs usually get a bad rap. But sometimes. Don't let me down, okay? When a bug finally makes itself known. It can be exhilarating. Like you just unlocked something. A grand opportunity, waiting to be taken advantage of. The normal life, smiles, dinner parties, childhood stories. I could get used to this, maybe even like it. There's nothing to hide behind. I didn't think it existed, but there it was, is. Mr. Robot finally found my bug. The bug forces the software to adapt, evolve into something new because of it, work around it or work through it. No matter what, it changes. It becomes something new. The next version. The inevitable upgrade. There it is. After all the searching, scraping, dusting, that's all that's left. One line. 
the last line. The consequences of busting Vera, meeting Mr. Robot, creating you, everything till now, this moment. I chose this. I chose all this. That was about the time the withdrawal started. Remember? I know. I broke my own rule. But I have no Suboxone. What I do have? Clinical depression, social anxiety, a day job, a night job, confusing relationships, others depending on me, taking down the largest corporation in the world. And I chose it all. This line has wanted to own me my whole life. Biosynthesized in some lab in Mexico, packed into a pill, shipped to the States where it was packaged with a logo and tax by the government. Stolen by a bribe guard, sold to a Vera henchman, oversold to Shayla, and then to me. It needs me, just as much as I need it. The moment was destined, every choice bringing me closer to this one line. This line. This last line. I promise. Today will be the worst of it. Get through the next couple days and then I'll be clean. There's a saying. The devil's at his strongest while we're looking the other way. Like a program running in the background silently while we're busy doing other shit. Daemons, they call them. They perform action without user interaction. Monitoring, logging, notifications. Primal urges, repressed memories, unconscious habits. They're always there, always active. You can try to be right. We can try to be good, we can try to make a difference, but it's all bullshit. Because intentions are irrelevant. They don't drive us, demons do. And me, I've got more than most. Hypersensitivity to brightness and sound after that overwhelming paranoia followed by the darkest of depressions. Symptoms may persist for two weeks, assuming I last that long. Yeah, I know what's in store. Don't be mad at me, I know I slipped, but I'm about to change the world. I'm about to change the world. Maybe this was all intentional. My subconscious running in the background making me doubt what I got everyone else to believe in. Turning me into the physical manifestation of my fear of being... Have I sunk this low? What must you think of me? Is it spring? Election year? Shall I hibernate? Did we meet? And money we trust? No. I created. Stop. I can't control thoughts. I need this. I know I promised my last line, but. Hello again. Long time no. Whatever it is we do. I missed you. Where did you go? Did you leave or did I? Maybe it was both, or neither, doesn't matter. Do those hopeful moments scare me? Of course. Damon's remember? Demons. They don't stop working. They're always active. They seduce. They manipulate. They own us. And even though you're with me, even though I created you, it makes no difference. We all must deal with them alone, the best we can hope for. The only silver lining to all of this is that when we break through, we find a few familiar faces waiting on the other side. Steel Mountain. We're trying to penetrate a data security facility whose tagline literally is. Nothing is actually impenetrable. A place like this says it is, and it's close, but people still built this place. 
And if you can hack the right person, all of a sudden you have a piece of powerful malware. People always make the best exploits. I've never found it hard to hack most people. If you listen to them, watch them, their vulnerabilities are like a neon sign screwed into their heads. Mobley's a glutton. He lacks discipline from his urges. I don't want to get bugs. They spread disease. Romero is a know-it-all and a hypochondriac. Mr. Robot, his flaw is he's absolutely insane. We're talking clinical. When they say if your friends jump off a bridge, would you? He would, without hesitation, just to prove something. He goes in there, he's liable to blow the whole place up, just like he wanted to in the first place. Yes, I also have security flaws. I don't like being outside. I like morphine too much. Mr. Sepio? I'm talking to you right now and you don't exist. It's no wonder Wikipedia is never accurate. Anyone can edit them. Well, not anyone. Nerds like Mobley built a lot of credit over the years with his 20,000 edits. And still people trust it, beholden to all the Mobleys of the world for their information. Did he know I was gonna be here? Does he know why I'm here? Shit, he's gonna kill me. Goddamn withdrawals again. Or is it Tyra Wallach? Is she toying with me? What kind of game are we playing? Am I his malware? My father picked me up from school one day and we played hooky and went to the beach. It was too cold to go in the water so we sat on a blanket and ate pizza. When I got home my sneakers were full of sand and I dumped it on my bedroom floor. I didn't know the difference. I was six. My mother screamed at me for the mess, but he wasn't mad. He said that billions of years ago, the world shifting and oceans moving brought that sand to that spot on the beach, and then I took it away. Every day, he said, we changed the world, which is a nice thought until I think about how many days and lifetimes I would need to bring a shoe full of sand home until there is no beach, until it made a difference to anyone. Every day we change the world, but to change the world in a way that means anything, that takes more time than most people have. It never happens all at once. It's slow. It's methodical. It's exhausting. We don't all have the stomach for it. I feel the sensation, fight or flight, it's constant. I should just pick one. I, Elliot Alderson, am flight. I am fear. I am anxiety, terror, panic. Dara may be out of his mind, but yes, it is possible to hack into a prison's network. Most of them use regular industrial control systems. When you have control of that, you basically have control of the cell doors. But what these morons don't know is, it's almost impossible without any research. There is bro, Isaac. Something about him bugs me. And you know what I like to do when that happens. Connection closed by remote host. But we had a fish. I was in. The exploit started to run and then... I keep brute force thinking, but it's not working. I need help. Evil Corp, Angela, Vera, his brother, Darlene, Shayla. This is too much. I should just tell her what she wants to hear. There's that sensation again. Fight or flight. Three lives at stake, including my own. I, Elliot Alderson, am. What? Remember when the panic would set in and we had a solution? Be honest, I miss that. Life is so much easier when you're numb. First Shayla, now Darlene. Like a hard drive blasted by excessive voltage, my mind is frayed, close to fried. I can feel the static running through my brain, serotonin receptors working overtime. At the security desk, my cell phone's running an undetectable activated signal sniffer that will locate any kind of wireless signal in sight. By the time I leave this building, I'll own its network. WPA2 Wi-Fi, shit. Borderline unhackable. Getting that handshake could take days. The noose is tightening. The mobile feed on the cameras. I don't need to have WPA2 when there's dedicated 4G. I 
suppose a bullet through the brain is peaceful in its own right. The exploit's on his laptop. Now I need to force feed it into the jail's network. If I mistyped one command, hit one wrong key, the cell doors won't open. And we both know what that means. Did I make a mistake? No. I don't make mistakes. One minute till Vera. For all his insane, inhumane ideas, he does understand the world. The wild savagery of the world. Sorry, I haven't talked to you in a while. I mean, it's only been a month. Which I guess in the grand scheme of things isn't that long. Isn't our life like a blip in the cosmic calendar or something? So that's Shayla, a blip? Not even. Here one blip gone the next. Makes me hate myself that I've already gotten used to the idea of her not being here. In a year, I'll maybe think about her every once in a while. Then she'll become an anecdote, a thing to say. I knew a girl that died with the added bonus of she died because of me. Maybe I should hate myself. She's getting rid of me, in case you're still trying to figure that out. Over 52 hours of Krista's voice bouncing around this room. She thinks she's a wasted echo. Maybe she is. I wonder how much time I've spent not listening to her in here. She wants more from me, but she doesn't believe in me. You, are you on her side? I remember when I was a kid, I got into web design by ripping off sites I liked. All you had to do was view source on your browser, and there it was, the code. You could copy-paste it, modify it a little, put your name on it, and like that, it was your site. View source. What if we had that for people? Would people really want to see? Find someone to be your honest self with. Bullshit. This is all I have left of her. I will miss her. I need to wipe again. I don't feel good about that. I hope you're not mad at me. But you have to admit she's just like everyone else. Too afraid to peek over their walls for fear of what they might see. Not me. That's what I do. I look. This hack is far from devastating. They already own us. They're not going after anything valuable. This is more of a distraction. But what are they trying to distract us from? He wasn't just stressed, he was scared. Let's see what he's hiding. What does Angela have to do with this? I was right. The hack was a distraction. This is about me. This is the meeting. Hackers. We inherently trust no one, including each other. I'll never be able to tell her. There will always be this divide, my wall that she can't look over. And she knows it. Trust issues. The Dark Army has taken extraordinary steps to make sure this meeting's exactly how they want it. Is that why the infamous White Rose is such a legend? Because he's more paranoid than the rest of us? A Faraday cage. A room specifically designed to prevent electromagnetic interference. No radio. No signal. No Wi-Fi. Nothing to hack. 50 hours and 20 minutes left. I need to figure this out. Gideon's been spying on me the whole time. Honeypot 
service order. Shit. I gotta do that now. Security token. Gideon's phone. I need his phone. 50 hours and 19 minutes left. Damn. She infected me with her time paranoia. We're all living in each other's paranoia. You definitely can't argue that. Is that why everyone tries to avoid each other? I need to calm down. I wish I could be an observer like you. Then I could think more calmly. This is comfortable, less stressful. In fact, I feel like I can see everything, know everything this way. Hmm. Do you know more than me? That wouldn't be fair. My imaginary friend knowing more than me. So what would you do now? We need a distraction to get Gideon's phone. Sometimes it's hard to listen to an explanation, even when it's from myself, especially when it's from myself. It would be so much easier to only pay attention when I needed to. Yeah. To just arrive at the conclusion. Is that what you do? 100 large MMS files to Gideon's phone drained it. The distraction is momentary. Hopefully all I need. In 90 seconds, this code will change. If I don't log in with it on my computer before then, I'll lose everything to time. 60 seconds, White Rose was right. We run from one deadline to the next. I know, you thought I didn't put the code in time, but I had to hide it quickly before Gideon saw it. Sorry. I told you what I saw when I hacked Gideon, when I peeked into his secrets. I saw a good, honest man. Gideon was wrong. I am finished here. I'm no good for him or this place. He was only protecting his people. But me? I'm doing this to protect everyone. Theaters all day. Darling would sing Frere Jacques. She rode her scooter in front of our house. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. She tried to run away in the third grade. How come I didn't remember that? Slept in the same bed when our mom was mean to us. Why did I forget? I remember her voice. How could I forget? I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Are you freaking out? Tell me the truth. Were you in on this the whole time? Think, goddamn it, think. How can I just forget her like that? A whole person, a relationship, with this amnesia. What else am I not remembering? I'm crazy. I should have stayed on the meds. I'm crazy. I'm out of my mind. I knew it. I should have never created you. I should have listened to Krista. I avoid myself. Why? I'm afraid. Okay. Afraid of what? Finding too much. Too little. Nothing at all. Do I even exist? See me, Elliot Alderson. I am here. We have to hack. Me. Did I erase myself? Look, calm down. I'll figure this out. I know you don't trust me. I wouldn't either, but I'm telling you. I'm remembering more and more now as time goes on. That's a plus. It's all starting to come back. And once we get all the answers, I'll be back to normal. 
Except for the fact that my dead father isn't really dead and is sitting across from me. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. No. This is happening, isn't it? You knew all along, didn't you? You're gonna make me say it, aren't you? I am Mr. Robot. What would you do if you were in my shoes? I know, I know, I'm officially crazy. But the plan isn't. Is it? This is Tyrell's. Why were we in there? Seriously, what do you remember? Wait, I don't even trust you. Jesus, what did I do? Were you there? Did you see it? What did I do? Execute, it executed. But how, I, what happened to Tyrell? Why did Tyrell let this happen? He was with me, I told him the whole plan. He was gonna stop it. A simple program, a worm that can make data unreadable. Malware that took Darlene maybe two hours to code. Is that really all it takes to kill the world? Shouldn't I be enjoying this? Why am I even looking for Tyrell? Isn't this what we wanted? So this is what a revolution looks like. People in expensive clothing running around. Not how I pictured it. I wonder what stage they're at. Denial, muttering to themselves. No, this can be fixed. Maybe bargaining, forcing their text to work overtime to try to decrypt our data. Or have they come to the realization yet that Darlene encrypted everything with 256-bit AES and it would take an incomprehensible amount of time to crack? That all of their data is actually gone for good. She's lying to me. He isn't coming. She's fishing for something. Tyrell Wellick's gone. I wake up in his SUV and the world's about to fall apart. I know, I know this looks bad, but I'm sure there's an explanation. Don't think that. We'll find him, we'll find him. He's gotta be somewhere. My dad? Mr. Robot, whatever the hell he is, if he's not gonna show up, maybe he got sloppy, left behind the clue. What's he trying to say? I'm on the hook for everything. He won't come out to play if I ask, so maybe I gotta force his hand. I need to use the landline. I need to get myself arrested. Please, you have to do something. You have to help me. Say something. No, no. This isn't my family. None of them are real. <laughs> 